Paris. Just looking at your name and picture in my contacts. Oh, here's an idea. Delete them. You were upset when we last spoke. You think? Time has passed. Let's speak again. About what? Your insistence on continuing on as Mrs. Matthew Hunter. Look, Matt and I said vows. Spinelli made promises. Why wouldn't I continue? Well, for one, you don't love him. You're way out of line. Well, Maxie, you married him just so you wouldn't have to testify no, you know against what? It you. wouldn't have even been an issue, Spinelli, if you hadn't opened your big fat mouth. But no, you had to go and rat him out. I did it for you. Against me. God, I begged you, Spinelli. If I listened to you, where would you be right now? You would still be incarcerated for a murder that you did not commit. Flanked by Tiny and her dreaded minions. Yeah, now Matt's there instead. Unfortunate, sure, but better him than you. How can you say that? How can you not? You know, I'm standing by him. You know, my husband. I even gave up my apartment to move into his. You're waiting for him? As long as it takes. Another emotional decision with probable negative consequences. One that what you do you want from me, Spinelli? Seriously, what do you want me to say? How about thank you? Excuse me? I said, how about thank you? For what? Getting you out of prison? Are, are you for real? Or, or, and these are in no particular order, I see. Saving you from a kidnapping drug ring? Falling through a ceiling and then taking a bullet for you? Years, years of patience and understanding, kindness, encouragement, support. Sustaining belief, the kind which only I can provide. Might any of those seem like appropriate starts to just a flicker of gratitude? Maxie, I tried to honor your wishes. I went so far as to remain silent at your sentencing, but it became clear to me that you could not survive incarceration. So, so to procure your release, I had to expose no, Matt Hunter as the real killer. You didn't have to do anything, Spinelli. Maxie, all I've ever wanted is your happiness. That's why I went along with your little plan from the beginning, but then I had no choice. It was either Matt or you, and I chose you. After I asked him and not I've to. And I've been made to apologize for it time and time again, and, and still, it's not enough. So I waited, putting up with the freeze of your coldest shoulder. Not anymore. Why are you getting so upset? Have you listened to anything Look, else? I told you how it was, Spinelli. Okay, you and me, friends. With Matt... We were more. Yeah, and you've made that abundant. You know what? You're the one who dug up the security footage in the first place, okay? I never asked for your help. Yeah, why would you turn to me when you could turn to Anthony Zakara, whose kind of help is killing an innocent woman? I didn't know he was going to do that. What did you think an unbalanced homicidal gangster would do? But you know what, Maxie? That's the point. You didn't think about any of this. About confessing to murders that you didn't commit. About marrying a man you don't love. I'm out of here, okay? Maxie, your actions don't exist in a vacuum. <sighs> They affect other people. Don't lecture me. You're like a tornado. Wild and unpredictable? No, you leave a path of destruction in your wake. And I used to think it was my, my, my duty, my privilege to clean up after you. Yeah, but no more. Consider this my resignation. You what? I quit. You quit? Yeah. Congratulations, you're free. Go live in your husband's apartment and wait, and wait, and wait some more. So it won't bother you if I stay married to Matt? No, go on, waste your life. But for the record, I'm done wasting mine. Being my friend was a waste? Friendship, Maxie, is not defined by one party blatantly taking advantage of the other or treating said friend like dirt just because you can. Look, I know, I, I know that my love has no meaning to you, has no value, that is simply a tool for your convenience. But I am done with this, done with you. Hi. Hey. Hey. Is, is Maxie still outside? Didn't see her, why? Ah, uh, we had an altercation of sorts. <laughs> Let me guess, you stormed out. Actually, I did the storming, but unfortunately, in the wrong direction. The uh, coast is clear. Many thanks. Spinelli, Spinelli, listen to me. Wait a minute. Look, I know Max is upset about what happened with Matt, but um, it'll blow over, you know, so come around. And for the first time in my life, I don't want her to. She likes to be 
taken for granted by someone they love. I, I never thought that Max could push me to this breaking point, and here I am. So, uh, so really, that's it? You're really done with Maxie? I think I have to be. Miss Bailey, look, <laughs> writing her off doesn't have to be your only option. You could decide to accept Maxie. You know, false and all. To the detriment of my own well-being? It is true, Maxie often behaves on the selfish side. Yeah, but it's never for malicious purposes. And there I go again. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if the good outweighs the bad... You know, you've just posed the ultimate question. I mean, when... When do the scales shift? I mean, how many times can you let someone be unkind before letting them go for good? You're aware of this. But it wouldn't hurt so much if you didn't love her. Guess I probably always will. But I can't go back to that well of pain. I just can't. You, on the other hand, 